One million gems was the first wish fulfilled by the shooting star drops. Sure, it's not Danny's phone number, but a whooping one million gems for at the username Kamer Panthere, valued at fifty thousand US dollars. Also, we got the bizarre circus foot fetish new beta game on Wednesday, Clash Mini version three, and more on the show. To put that into context for you guys, currently cosmetic wise in game there are about seventy thousand gems worth of skins. Progression takes about two hundred thousand gems for seventy four dollars and about nine point five thousand gems to unlock all the current seventy four dollars. Let's theorize a bit here. If you have created an account right now and won the shooting star drop, and if you were given the option to purchase all cosmetics, brawlers, and maximize your progression of your account, it would have just taken about at most three hundred thousand gems, which is one third of the gems that he has just won. He is pretty much set for life for Brawl Stars at least for the next foreseeable future of 10 years. Pretty much, this is hundred times better than wishing for all skins and pins in game. Yeah, I did not include sprays because they are not considered as cosmetics according to me. <laughs> Speaking of cosmetics, oh boy, they keep ever getting better. In season 21, the Bizarre Circus came with a wide range of skins from Indian mythology to horror-inducing skins like. The Dark Clown Sam. Even the premiere countdown is getting better since the Ghost Train season and the Candyland, especially the last season's cinematic hypercharges. Season 21 got some new tracks to the countdown outside of Brawl Stars, I suppose. And oh boy, the man! It gave some chills with the Dark Clown Sam. We got latest chromatic brawler edition, Charlie. Coral, but worse. I bet we got some mommy issues here. Janet Sims are on barrage with Charlie Sims now. Charlie makes opponents as X. X anyone? Ah, oh, banana oil. Six new hypercharges. Looks like they're going a route of six per season, giving away one free with the event. One of my two favorites from the brawl talk is the Diwali or the Pawali skins, and also the new Hindu menu theme OST. That is really really lovely. Warrior Jenny skins, as they refer. I wish it could have been a little bit more Indian named. But yeah, from what we got, I absolutely love this new beginning for Indians. For those of you from India, you'll have to forgive me for my lack of knowledge about Indian mythology. I don't know what Dasis or Venera is, but this is really cool. Don't worry, Katie, I got you covered. Das is Chrome, not to the Das Sir King Ravan, who is an antagonist and has the ten heads, as mentioned in the epic Ramayan. Hence the floating heads. No, no, not him. Yeah, him. Supreme Bo, as in the Lord Supreme Vishnu's inspiration, Krishna Avatar, and Brother Bo, as in the Krishna's big brother, Balaram, following along the mischievous tales of the Krishna and Balaram brotherhood. Especially the Bo's mind effects are really really cool. And the fourth skin was one or a Frank, as in the Lord Hanuman, who was famous for his unwavering loyalty. And it's Frank, but with a tail. Well, glad that you noticed it, Lex. He has a tail because he is the king of the Langur, Indian version of the Alps, or the monkeys in common. Who carried the gada as he might refer as a mallet, and was famous for carrying his the Sanjeevini Parvata as in the life-saving mountain to the battlefield. So that's why you see the mountain effects at the end of the Frank's attacks. And Club League is gone. I loved it. It sucks though because I was a hardcore fan with it. Well, in place of it, we got Clash Royale's six-year-old discontinued clan chest system, but better with star drops. As a mega pig with more rewards for the dedicated players. Once a monthly event. Not so sure about that. And if anything is coming from Squadbusters to global, is their event system, random mode event. It's cool. I adored the weekend clan chess system back in the day, and yeah, I would love it even more in Brawl Stars right now. And we got compensation of twenty daily rewards, twenty-five till the new piggy system comes into place. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Clash Royale, asking payment for a gold piggy bank for trash gold rewards. Hmm. Progression and rewards suck in your game. Speaking of sucking, some of you fetish people are gonna be happy because there has been so much teasing of new evolution archers, new card. It might be evolution, whatever it might be. Developers aren't holding it back. Also, five hundred bookmarks. Now the bookmarks is reaching nearly three thousand. Holy, <laughs> you guys are insane. Everyone's crazy over the newly released. Feet pick these. Oh 
Moku is being released this Wednesday on the 25th at 8 a.m. UTC. That's when the day in the Supercell office starts. So get your weapons ready and slay some monsters. Switching gears to esports. In esports, tickets for Clash of Clans and Clash Royale World Championship is now available. With one ticket, you can watch both of the World Championships. These are your final 8 teams participating for the Clash Worlds on November 24th at 8 a.m. UTC for a grand prize of 300,000 US dollars for the first place. Hashtag fear the tribe. In Clash Royale, these are your 16 finalists participating for 1.3 million dollar prize pool. I really hope Morton wins this time, man. Fifth times the charm, hopefully. Mohammed Light. Molight, please take it lightly this year and let the consistent goat win. After five successful world, after five successive world finals. Well, I'm just so upset for Morton right now. He got second so many times, and it's just like it's getting depressing at this point. But I don't know. I, I have to win, you know. So I'm just saying for him, like, uh, if he's gonna still be playing competitively, I hope the best for him next year, and hopefully, he can win it eventually. Fifth times the charm. Hopefully, man. Clash world worlds are happening in Helsinki. And brawl worlds are happening in the same dates with Dreamhack in a city name that I try not to butcher. Bjorn Shopping, Sweden. Okay. In Clash of Clans, people are not happy with the greedy goblin builder, and and some people are sore for not letting the enemies take their sore legs here. Clash Mini um, version three. After two years, they got their third iteration of the game. No more progression and a truly free-to-play game. Who would have ever thought it? Based on initial impressions, Clash Mini is the first game to ever achieve a true status quo, highly potential free-to-play game with minimal progression. <clears throat> hero progression is null and void, and minis come in sets for a specific hero. By the looks of the game, it looks like it's aiming to monetize by skins and cosmetics. It's an opinion, by the way. I am a bit disappointed by the changes because, in my opinion, a game that targets younger audience and selling them skins at a place where they can't afford fifty dollars for a skin, and as in for the adults, myself, demand gameplay and the sense of progression to you know match the best of board worlds at the moment, and I can't afford the skins because it's not a global game yet, and I can't purchase it without risking the security of my account. Gameplay even after two years seems to get no valid hyper convincing balanced matches. I know that they have went straight overhead. What I'm trying to say is, there is no set balance in the game currently. Sure, sure it has been better, but still two years and that's a long run to even get to somewhere. They are introducing a new dynamics to the game without a solid base, and I fear without a solid base it might crumble down. I know the game looks cute, even cuter day to day, but maybe Toyful is the right. Maybe the Toyful isn't the right appeal for me. You know what? Fine. Maybe this is all new in the world of gaming, especially in Supercell environment. As a long-term fan, a game that is aiming to withstand solely by selling cosmetics. Not so sure. Maybe it's time for me to say that the game isn't for me, as I said it to Boom Beach. Hmm. Well, to conclude, there has been so much bombing on its beach that the beach itself is destroyed. To talk the new updates. Well, please don't boo my channel subscriber and make sure to tune in for the Moco video, which I sh probably should add released by now, and it will be done before 25th, hopefully. Check back on the next weekend for the next Supercell recapsule.